hard to believe that five days later, Joseph, people are still being rescued uh, from some of those communities that are just surrounded by water, even now. Yeah, even now, and they're going to continue to need our help, and it's going to take a lot of time to really fix things up down there. So we'll do our best. Now, here in the Pacific Northwest, really nice weather temperatures today warming into the upper 80s. And if you're planning for some more warm weather, you got it. It's coming your way. All right, 88 degrees was the high today in Vancouver, 90 for the Dells. PDX normal high is 71. Yeah, we were cooking today. Temperatures along the Oregon coast a bit cooler, closer to where they should be this time of the year. It's not unheard of that we see a few 90s in October, but when we do, they're usually records. And the latest 90 degree day is actually October 5th there in 1980. Today, uh, again, the record was 90. We hit 88. That was in 1970. So still, there's some moments in October when those temperatures to be pretty warm. But it doesn't take very long to really start to see those temperatures dropping really quick as we go through the month of October. The record highs, now this is the record highs. This is our average temperature. This is the record highs. They start in the 90s and 80s there at the beginning of the month. Some of the record high temperatures near the end of the month in the lower 70s and upper 60s. That just tells you that our average temperature really plummets as we go through this month. It is for sure one of those transition months out there. Okay, so plan on a warm week. It's going to be a week where you can still use the t-shirt, uh, the shorts, the sandals, all of it. You could just use all that summer clothes uh, through the week as we go through uh, not only tomorrow, but all the way to probably heading into the weekend. I have no rain in the forecast. Outdoor plans should be good. Maybe a couple patchy areas of drizzle for the coast. I'll show you that here in just one second. And guess what? The fall colors are starting to pop. And so we're getting some of those crisp mornings. The day length is a little bit shorter, and we're seeing the transition. I've seen some red leaves, some of those gold leaves out there too. All right, tomorrow morning is a tad cool. Temperatures back into the 50s. Maybe some locations in the lower 50s outside of the Portland metro area. We just have a few clouds in the afternoon. It's going to be really nice, though, when we get to about lunchtime there. Temperatures in the 70s, warming up to about the lower 80s there. Just a pretty you know, gentle breeze going on. All right, so we do have this disturbance out to the west, but it's not going to impact us. In fact, we have this ridge developing, and we have this little disturbance to the east as well. Here's another way to look at it. There you go. There's one. There's that second disturbance. Here's the ridge right here. And that's going to sit right over the top of us. We call this omega, an omega block. It looks like an omega symbol there. It's kind of a blocking pattern, which means things just aren't going to shift or change very much. And we're going to keep that ridge in place as we go through the week. 60s for the coast tomorrow with some 50s here in the Portland metro area. I was at 84, Salem about 81. West Gorge there in the lower 80s, Hood River about 84. Pretty calm breeze coming out of the gorge. Uh, the Dow is about 87. Government camp even temperatures pretty close to the upper 70s. Maybe some lower 80s out there. Madras and Pendleton, those temperatures in the 80s there. I want to show you one thing on the next 48 hours here. I want to show you those thick clouds are moving on in, but it's more so going to be what occurs heading into Tuesday morning as the clouds start to increase and that marine layer starts to move into the Willamette Valley come Tuesday morning. So be prepared for that. All right, here's your seven day forecast. 79 on Wednesday, Thursday at 81, 82 degrees on Friday for football. It doesn't feel like football weather. 84 degrees on Saturday and 84 on Sunday. Maybe some records next weekend, Wayne. It's going to be warm still. Another summer-like week. All right. Thank you, Joseph.